Uh, I just wanted everything to be perfect. I mean, this was a big deal. But when Discord insists on being involved... Regardless of what Spike might say, that little dragon begged me to help. And let me tell you, he can cause plenty of chaos all on his purple lonesome. I pride myself on baking under pressure, but I just... Oh, dear. You'd think we'd be used to stuff like this in Ponyville. I still have nightmares. It seems simple when it started. <gasps> it's beautiful! Uh, yep. No! I'm not gonna eat it! Eat what? What is it? I wanna see! No! Why not? Because you have a big mouth. Me? I keep tons of secrets, like Fluttershy's secret fear of clowns. Or that time I caught Twilight sleep-trotting through town. Oh, and did you know that Octavia went on a date with Bulk Biceps? <laughs> Talk about an odd couple. I heard that... Oh, all right. Point taken. But we're pals, right? Comrades. The Migos. Come on! <gasps> Big Mac is going to propose to Sugar Bell, Sugar Bell, Sugar Bell, Sugar Bell. My little pony, my little pony. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Of course, Big Mac asked me to help with his proposal. I'm the most romantic dragon I know. Oh, it really is a curse, having infinite powers. Every pony is always asking you to move a couch or help with a proposal. Spill it! Every detail! Don't leave anything out! Oh, do we have to hear all the details? Is that like a friend thing? <sighs> yep. I don't talk. So I want to show Sugar Bell how committed I am. First... <gasps> you're making a picnic table that matches the shelf you made Sugar Bell for her shop when you had a crush on her? And you're setting up a romantic meal overlooking Sweet Apple Acres? Yep. Uh, how did you figure that out? If you were a hopeless romantic, you'd know that was the only logical choice. Then... You painted apples to leave around Ponyville with little riddles tied to the stem that will lead her up here to meet you? Yep. Seriously? Now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. You need a giant rhino named Dolores who can knit a romantic sweater for two. Uh, nope. Come on. He needs food for the picnic. That was a gimme. I do not get this game. Okay, you finish your table, I'll pick up whatever you need to eat, and Discord will put all the apples in place. I will? Yep. From the sugar cube corner, look for your next clue. Red, delicious, sweet like you. Find it, you'll know what to do. <laughs> He should stick to bucking apples. Sugar Bell's gonna love it! I'll get the food. How long will it take you to place all the apples? Are you sure you put them in the right spots? Those terrible riddles on the apples were very clear on the location. I'm sure that they were placed properly. I, I, I think, maybe. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, fine. I'll double check. She didn't see the apple. 
What are we gonna do? Well, we could just give it to her. That's not romantic. She needs to discover it. Don't be such a drama dragon. I've precipitated liquid cocoa on Equestria and herded long-limbed Leporidae. I can certainly make a pony see an apple. <sighs> Mrs. Cake, I need to pick up a few things. No, oh, I'm afraid you'll have to wait. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, is this sour cream or sweet cream? Oh, it's kind of important. Maybe I could take some of these off your hooves? No! Those are for something important, too. All of them? There's one, two, three, four... Twenty-one! And yes, all of them. Who needs twenty-one desserts? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Come by later. Later won't work. Why not? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Put the vanilla in the first Ugh! Did some pony else make these? No. Why? No reason. Thank you. These are perfect. You know, if she's too busy to read the horribly written clues, maybe you should just tell her. Listen up. Each of you has a job to do. Take a look at your stems. Well, tell me about it. But regardless, go to your designated location, deliver your messages, and make me proud. Dismiss! <sighs> I just have to say, Big Mac is really lucky to have me as a friend. Okay. One down, 20 to go. Then I can help you. Maybe I can help you. Delivering parchments is my thing. A little dragon breath and whoosh! We deliver each scroll into each dessert. Then you can help me. Watch! <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> Hurry, there's no need to sneak. The next apple is at the boutique. <laughs> Twilight's castle, take a right. The next apple sits in plain sight. What in the blazes is going on? Discord. Oh, are you finally finished? I've been done for a while. <laughs> You know, thinking back, I probably could have been clearer which pony to deliver the messages to. You think? I sent them back to Sweet Apple Acres. Apples are terrible at taking directions. Couldn't even manage to stay in one location. Now bananas, whoa, are much better at listening. What's going on? Apples running everywhere, and she didn't see the poem to get to the hilltop? Getting her to the hilltop is easy, and not seeing the poems is actually a blessing when you think about it. Why would you think sending flaming messages into five desserts would work? You ruined all of them! To be honest, I tasted some, and burning them might have been an improvement. What? I never! Spike? Oh, uh, uh, hey there, Big Mac. I bet you're wondering what... Sugar Bell! Big Mac? Discord? Mrs. Cake! What did I do? Nothing. I thought we were just saying each other's names. I guess this can't get any worse. As the Lord of Chaos, I'd advise against saying things like that. <laughs> it's Kirby! Save yourself!
have a reputation for getting carried away. Especially when romance is involved. <laughs> but that wasn't the case with this. We were just helping Sugar Bell with her plan. And the last one should just say, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying you want to put each one of those inside a dessert? Well, since Big Mac's plan to send me a hearts and hoofs day pie with the message inside didn't go so well, I thought it'd be fun to do it right. Aww, that's so romantic! He's a pony of few words. I love that about him. So I thought I'd use as many words as possible to propose to him. All he has to say is... Yep. <laughs> I can't wait for you to be a part of the family. You three played such a big part in Big Mac and I getting together. I'm glad you could help with this. I love you, Big Mac. Would you like to spend the rest of our lives together? I hope you say e yup. And each word has to go into a dessert? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. Whoa, 21, I know. Actually, it's 22. Mrs. Cake was kind enough to help me bake all the apple-flavored treats I made to get Big Mac to visit me in my old shop. But that one has the invitation for him to come here. Oh, it's, it's no bother. I do love a challenge. Did I add the sugar to this one or to that one? I think I've seen her add sugar to that bowl six times so far. Now you three go deliver that pie. I have to get some flowers to spruce the place up. Uh-oh, Spike and Discord are outside. If they figure out what we're up to, they'll spill the beans. And I want this to be a surprise. I don't think they suspect anything. Why would they suspect that we're holding an invitation pie and that Mrs. Cake is baking a 21 dessert proposal? I can't believe I'm gonna have a sister-in-law! This is our shot to make up for all the trouble we caused when Big Mac first asked Sugar Bell out. We can't give away the surprise. You need to play it cool. Right, right. Uh, how's this? Better? Come on, let's go find your brother. Screwdriver. Nope. Big Mac! He ain't here. Let's go. Hold on. That looks just like the shelf Big Mac made for Sugar Bell. Weird. Maybe we should wait here for him. He's bound to show up soon. You know, when I'm looking for something, Granny says it's best to check the least likely place. Come on! Screwdriver! Big Mac! supposed to propose to Big Mac if we can't even find him. Mrs. Cake isn't finished yet. We still have time. You know, when I'm looking for some pony, Granny says it's best to just stay in one place. Let's head back to the farm and wait. Big Mac is sure to show up soon. Well, don't just stand there. Come on! Love is in the air! Jumping. I just had the most peculiar dream. That's nice, Granny, but we really need to find Big Mac, so... It was about Grandpa. What it was it? And we were in outer space on some kind of mission to explore a strange new world. If we get stuck listening to Granny, we'll never find Big Mac. 
And Mudbriar was there, being as logical as ever, for his ears was all horny like, and then Discord showed up, and well, you know, he's pretty much the same. Once she gets going, there's nothing in Equestria that can stop her. You sure about that? Spike? Oh, uh, uh, hey there, Big Mac. I bet you're wondering what- Sugar Bell! The Big Mac? Discord? Mrs. Cake! What did I do? Nothing. I thought we were just saying each other's names. I guess this can't get any worse. As the Lord of Chaos, I'd advise against saying things like that. It's coming! Save yourself! Why does every pony immediately assume that this has something to do with me? I love you. You love me. I love to grow like an apple tree. So let me ask, will you marry me? Okay, but to be fair, the message did get the sugar bell. This whole story is being twisted to make it seem like it was all my fault. Which it wasn't! Wait, so you two were orchestrating a proposal? That's what I was doing! Who are you proposing to? Discord! Me? I love you! I love you! I love you! So the messages that were in the desserts were Sugar Bell's proposal to Big Mac before Spike set them on fire! Oh, so I'm not the only one who messes things up, am I, Mr. High and Mighty Dragon? Hey, those desserts were ruined way before I ruined them. They were not! Well, I may have mixed up a, a few ingredients. It was such a rush. You should both be very disappointed in yourselves. What about you and your apple monster? Yes, but you all expect that of me. All we wanted to do was make up for messing things up the last time. Sugar Bell, Big Mac, we're really... Where'd they go? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. I shouldn't have taken all those desserts at once. It's just how can you say no to such a sweet idea? Joke. In retrospect, a dragon flame and baked goods aren't the best combo. We felt like it was all our fault. Except for the apple monster. That was Discord. And Mrs. Cake messing up those recipes, and Spike burning the messed up recipes, and the point is we all felt bad for ruining Big Mac and Sugar Bell's proposals. It was all green, and then Grandpa looked at me all dramatical and said, where no pony has gone before. And whoosh! Away we flew! Today was interesting. Yep. You okay? I... I'm sorry, Sugar Bell. I wanted everything to go right today. I wanted our love to be as perfect as my parents was when they planted these two trees together. Instead, it turn into a mess. Just like when I asked you out, just like Hearts and Hooves Day. No matter how hard I try, I always seem to mess up when it comes to you. I think you've got things backwards. What do you mean? From everything you told me about your parents, they had to deal with things a lot tougher than some burnt desserts and an apple monster. I guess that's true. This apple tree and pear tree are stronger together. They'll survive whatever comes because they don't have to do it alone. They belong together, like your parents and like us. Yep. Today was a disaster, but today was also the last day we're ever going to have to do anything apart. From here on out, we'll be together, and we'll make sure everything always works out just right. Sugar Bell, will you? you? No, sorry. I'm sorry. On three? Sure. One, two, will, will you, you marry, marry me? me? Yep. Yeah. 
We'll have to thank our friends for messing up so bad that they made it all work out perfectly. Well, we've all made up, and we're here for a do-over. And this time, thanks to me, we've got it right. So why don't you two, you know... Uh, I think they did okay without us. And that's how we were responsible for the perfect proposal. <laughs> Or should I say, pear-posal. If we hadn't messed up so bad, it wouldn't have worked out the way it did. It's just like baking. Sometimes it's the mistakes that help you discover something truly special. And when all the planning and grand gestures go wrong, it reminds you the most romantic things are usually the simplest. Which is what I knew all along. You're welcome. It is my sincere pleasure to say, for my second Apple family wedding, that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> That's your cue. Happy marriage, happy apples, happy marriage. Discord. Oh, just let me have this one. Happy marriage, happy apples, happy marriage, happy apples. <laughs> <laughs>